Hello folks, back again. How's the vlog? Sunday again. Today, uh, I thought I might do something like pseudo UK English kind of uh, classic thing. There's chicken and asparagus. Now, the reason I'm doing this is because it's May, right? May 2023. And in May, you get fresh asparagus everywhere. You know, it's easy to buy, it's cheap at this time. You buy it off season, it's expensive. So that's what I thought I'd do. So for this recipe, you're gonna need some asparagus. Now this asparagus was fresh, but I had to freeze it because I couldn't use it at the time. So it's a bit little, sort of limp like that. So never mind, that's, that, that will work. Mushrooms we can add later on if you, if you want to. This is just uh, something that I, I just modified a little bit. Uh, you need a lemon. You need a little bit of flour, just a tablespoon of flour. You need some chicken. Now, in here I've got about, I don't know, half a kilo of chicken or something. So, uh, kind of, just breast? chicken breast, yeah, sorry, yeah, chicken breast, which I've sliced up. Now, you can cook uh, this with the, the whole chicken breast, you know, sizzle it, sizzle it, and then, and, and just leave it. But I just, I just cut it up. I just, basically, I didn't know what I was going to make today, and I thought, well, I've got asparagus to use up, so I may as well do this. So, anyway, I've got some um, onions going on here. Now, onions are great, but better is shallots. If you've got any shallots going, then uh, eat so much the better, you know? But these onions are alright. Anyway, we're gonna, when these are sauteed a little bit more, we're going to come back and, um, and do some more. Right, so, until then. All right, we're back. Uh, right, just sautéed onions. Have a look at this, guys. Right, now, listen. When I was cooking this, her indoors, uh, in other words, behind the camera there, she said, are we going to add garlic with this? I said, well, not really. He doesn't need it. So, uh, no, I like garlic. Okay, so I'm going to put some garlic in, right? How much? About that much. Too close. You know, in Italian cooking, you either cook with, with garlic or with onions, not both. But I suppose this is, this is a British. In, this is a British one, so we're all right. We're okay. We're clear. <laughs> anyway, this is the sautéed onions here. Right. Now, what I've done is I've just knocked up a little bit of chicken stock cube in here. Right. This is the chicken stock cube, and we're going to do that in a minute. Now what you need now is a little bit of flour, because we're going to make a sauce. We're going to make a sauce, and hopefully this thing will dissolve quickly. Anyway, right, we're going to go in. Now, if you go in with the sauce first, right, oh, sorry, with, with the water first, you're going to get, um, you're going to get uh, the, 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 what do you call it, flour lumps, lumps yeah. So, where you go and you just go in with the flour first, like that. Right, that's about what I need. Well, it's a spoonful, isn't it? So, so go in with the wood and get it hot, you know, just get it hot, mix it around. Get it hot, mix it around. Oh, oh. Did you put your oil in the pan? Yeah, I did, yeah, yeah, of course you do. You're when you were sautéing up, sautéing the onions, of course you put oil in the pan. Uh, it was olive oil, actually. You can put butter. Well, yeah, you can put butter if you want. Yeah, but yeah, but let's stick with the olive oil. Right now, we're going to pour the the the, the um, chicken stock in there. We're going to pour the chicken stock in there. And just do that a little bit at a time. Make sure that we get no lumps in it. It shouldn't be, you know. Anyway, we got chicken stock that's kind of like. You can buy chicken stock kind of not in food, just like in a liquidy kind of jelly thing. I mean, that, look, that's, that's quite good, isn't it? So look, here's all the chicken stock, on the stock cube, like that. Now that's going to thicken in the moment, that's going to be like a sauce thing, right? So, that's good. Right, now see that's thickening there, look. There's no, um, the bits you can see there are, uh, is the garlic, it's not the, the, the bits of clumps of flour, it's the garlic. 
you can see there. Right. That's good. It's not good yeah. So that's just kind of like chicken stock, and you know, if you've got a real chicken stock, even better. So I'm just going to turn it on to the simmer now, right? That was boiling, so just a simmer. Did you put like alcohol in it? Sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I had a look, I didn't have any didn't have any white wine, but you could put some wine with it, yeah, if you wanted to, it'd be really good. Right, so we're going to take it off the heat, and we're going to come back in a moment. Hello folks, we're back. Right, we've got this, remember, just to recap, we've got this little sauce here going on. It's got the onions in it and uh, a stock cube with, um, what's it called, just, just, just garlic, yeah. We're going to cook this chicken now, right, and what we want to do with it is bung it in. Now, don't forget, you can have whole piece of chicken. I just cut this up because I didn't know what I was going to do with it and I asked my daughter to cut it up because I thought, oh, I don't know, I'm going to have today curry or I'm going to have... What are we going to have today? I, don't, I have no idea. I just said just cut it up, you know. So we're going to we're going to sizzle this. This is called sizzling. Now, if you're going to do this for the whole breast, just cook the just cook the uh, kind of like make it brown on on the outside. Don't cook it all the way through. I'll tell you for why. Because it's going to cook on. This is not the final cooking stage of this chicken. Going to cook on. Right, olive oil I've used in here. You can use butter, yeah, but you know, or butter and olive oil, but stay away from the saturated fats, that's why I think. Go, uh, go Mediterranean with the olive oil thing. Um, you don't need to buy expensive olive oil, just um, extra virgin, you know, just cheap, the cheapest one. That's what I use anyway. Let's bung a little bit more on there. It's natural, isn't it? it goes. No, it's a good, uh, it's a good Yeah, it's good. Right, let's whack some pepper in there. Whack some pepper. And, um, some now we don't need to put in the sauce. Right, so, uh, asparagus. Now, as I said before, this is frozen fresh asparagus. Fresh frozen, oh. So you can't do the old cracking test because it wouldn't work. No, you see? But look, I tell you, this bit here is woody, that is stringy woody, it's not very good. So just cut it off like that. I know you think, well, you know, it's a bit of a waste. It's not really, you know, it, it's one of those things with asparagus, when you buy it, you have to like sacrifice some of it. No, oh, there might be some recipe that, that uses these woody end bits, but I, I don't know what one. Anyway, so you can, all the green bits, basically. The green bit is good. See, that's a bit suspect. That's where it gets soft, there. So, no, tap, 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 tap. Soft, voila. So if we have a horse or a cow or something. Yeah, sure, you put it we on. You can put it in a compost. Don't chuck it in the bin. You know, use it somehow. If animal, if you've got some animals that will eat it. Look, watch, watch. Tap, it's tap, 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 tap. All soft, there we are. So there's, there's the bit, right? Do it again. Tap, 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 tap. Oh, soft, so that's good. Now I wouldn't bother you to, uh, uh, that's good. Sometimes you've got a really big bit like that, you think, oh, what a waste. But you know, it's one of those things. That's, that's soft there. So out of this fresh frozen um, asparagus, look, what I'm saying is if you cook this, no, it, it will be all like fibrous and woody and stringy and yuck. Some people might like it, but no, well, I wouldn't do it. No, I don't. it's a bit that you chuck, unfortunately. It doesn't have that flavour, asparagus, so asparagus soup. Oh, asparagus soup is superb. Right, so there we are. That's how to test frozen asparagus. So there we go. Thing, yeah. So we've got this asparagus now. What we're going to do is we're going to keep the spears, this, this, the, the end bits like that. We're going to keep those bits just to bung in 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 because they cook really quickly. So we're going to cook. We're going to kind of kind of like slice this up a little bit like that, like that, like that, like that. Till we get to the very end, we're going to just kind of keep these like the 
the crown jewels, if you like. The best bits? The best bits, oh yeah. I think that's why they're expensive. Yeah, like asparagus, them. well, especially out of season, oh blimey. There they are. Right, let's have a look at this chicken now uh, again, ladies and gentlemen. This chicken. Right, we're trying to get this chicken kind of cooked on both sides. Not mega cooked, it doesn't have to be mega cooked, but just to like a little bit like that. Put the sage. Put the sage, yeah, if you know. Just a little bit of brownie like that, just, you know, just a bit of colour on it. And then make it look anemic. You know? It's not the anemic chicken anymore. Anyway. anyway, look. So get the chicken kind of like that. No, no more than that, otherwise it'd get tough. So we'll turn that off. And we'll put that in there. Now I think one that we're gonna need, we're gonna do it bit by bit because I need the fat in there to cook the asparagus. That's what they call it in France, asperge. 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 You have to do it with a drama face, you know, otherwise it doesn't taste as good. Right, so now we're going to go in with the asperge. Okay? It's the same pan, keep the juices in there, don't use the tap pan. Do you want the juices of the chicken and whatnot? So we're going to go in there with that. And we're just going to like sizzle in for a little bit. Let's turn it up. Got any heat there? Yeah, I think we've got some heat. Put some a little bit more olive oil on it. A little bit more olive oil. Let them sizzle out. They need to be cooked a little bit, you know. You can put a pan on top of there. That's good, that's good. We'll come back. Hello folks, um, whilst that's um, cooking, you probably can't hear me very well, but um, I'm going to cook the, cook? No, chop up this parsley here, look, I, I've got it from the garden. Um, you need a little bit of something, a little bit of herb in there, so what you do is, look, when you get parsley like this, I'll show you. It's all like that, right? So just fold it up, fold it in, like that, right? That's what you need to do. Don't mind about the stalks, because that's good, right? So you just go in, and little, little tiny chops, little tiny chops, right? Like that. No, most people, when they do parsley, they go all this business, this is a waste of, waste of time. Just do what I do here. Hold it up, a little ball like that. Smaller ball as you can, and then go in like this. Keep your fingers out of the way. Right? And you get all the parsley, Finely chopped like that. If you've got to put it in a thing, Well, yeah, you could put it in a process. What's the point? You know, you've got a little knife and you do it. If you've got little stragglers, then it's all right. Just do that a bit if you want to do it. But you don't need to, you know. Just, there, there it is, right? That's done. So, if you want to finely chop it, go in again. Grab a hold of it and go in again like this. Could you use any other herbs in the pasta? Ah, oh, like coriander or something. Coriander? Yeah, but it would change the dimension of the, the dish. It would become more more uh, Asian, I guess. You know, but, but we're trying to keep this like an English dish. Parsley we can get hold of. Coriander, perhaps we can get hold of. Um, Nothing too strong. Is it? Nothing too strongly flavour, otherwise you take the flavour away from the chicken. Don't forget, we're going to go with a lemon as well. Look, look, look at this, guys. So we're going to go, this is a whole lemon, right? We're going to go on half of that. So get a whole lemon. You're going to, only going to use half of that, so... Right, we're going to go back with this, look. This is our... Our... Um, asparagus. It's almost like stir-fried, isn't it? Yeah. So not this brown or black on one side, it's, it's not burnt yet, it's getting close. But we're just going to keep that a little bit here, just to keep it 
I will keep it in cooking in the juices of the chicken because that's what you want. You don't want to keep the flavour going. Just chuck, don't chuck flavours, it's not good. So, how are we going to test this if it's done? You stick a knife in it or something. Now what you can do here guys, what you can do if you're worried about that burning, if you're worried about that burning, just stick a bit of water in it like that. And you can like take all the flavours off the bottom. It's probably probably a better idea than trying to saute it. Because I haven't got a wok at the moment, so this is good. Now you need to test this because uh, people getting it was not going to like it if it's too tough. But that's a little bit on the still a little bit on the tough side. It's still a bit tough. So we're going to come back when that's done. Now look, ladies and gentlemen, look, I've added a little bit of water to speed this process up a little bit. Now nobody wants to eat this. This the thing is, the stalks take a lot longer to cook than the tips. tips. So. You need to make sure it's a bit kind of like, but how do you test it? Well, you just kind of like stick um, a stick a fork into it or something. If it's if it, it mashes like this, it's, it's all right. You know, it's good because it's going to cook a little bit more in there as well. So, but you mustn't serve it up when it when it's like rock hard. Otherwise, we'll go yuck. Right, it's still like this. So, what we're going to do with this? This is good enough. We're going to stick this in there. So, that goes in there like that. Wallop. Wallop. All the juices. Do not forget the juices. Now you're thinking, oh, that looks quite good. So, now we're going to go, we're going to go in, sorry my cooking is uh, playing up, sizzling when it shouldn't. We're going to go uh, in with some lemon. Lemon, you can use one of these things. You know, I don't know what they call these. Anyway, we're going to go in with a little bit of lemon. Half a lemon, right? Too much lemon, you can't eat it, right? So just go easy with a lemon. Lemon in there like that. All the piss as well. Don't take the piss. Yeah, don't take... Uh, no, you take the piss. You take all the piss out like that. That is the best, one of the best tools for doing this. You can do all this fancy squeezing and, you know, but this, this one, it, it works well. So, there we are. After that, you're gonna heat it up now until it's kind of like a bubbling. And we'll wait a moment for that to happen. With them uh, asparagus tips, could because they don't need so much cooking, we're gonna bung them in now like this, right? And we're going to put this on a low simmer, low simmer, low, low simmer. And just bubbling every now and again. Not, not violently, just a little bit. I've just turned it down. Right, just a little bit. So we're going to put cream in. How much cream is this? I don't know, 25 cl. So about this much, you know. It doesn't have to be this much. If you haven't got cream, put in cream fresh or something, you know. But... Look at that, wow. Now that is a royal UK English supper. That is it's fantastic, that is. So what we've got here is, it's creamy, a mushroom. I'll keep saying mushroom, why do I keep saying mushroom? Chicken asparagus a dish here, look at that. Everything is absolutely packed. And it's so tasty, I can smell. If you can smell its taste, it's going to taste good. No, there we are. So, as I say, you can make it with whole chicken breasts, cubed chicken breasts, it doesn't matter really, you know, whatever, whatever it is. But, you know, what it is, you can add some white wine to that when it's cooking, when it's frying, whatever, you know. The choice is, I'll just give you the, like a basic recipe thing, you know, so you can mess about with it yourself. Anyway. That's enough for me and um, hope you've enjoyed it. I've got, uh, let me see, uh, cooking, more cooking things up here. I've got uh, quick tips up here. I've got some DIYs down here. So until the next time.